in this video i will show you the current and voltage relationship in an inductor let's say i have an inductor of n turns and this is that inductor it has total n turns and let's say the inductance of this inductor is l now if the current is allowed to pass through this inductor let's say that current is i it is found that the voltage across that inductor vl will be directly proportional to the time rate of the change of the current that means our voltage across the inductor will be directly proportional to the time rate of change of current through the inductor vl directly proportional to the di by dt now if i want to take out the proportional sign uh, i will write it like this vl equal to l into di by dt this l is a proportionality constant uh, or this is known as the inductance of the inductor and the unit of the inductance is in henry now i have to establish the relationship between current and voltage here this vl is the voltage across inductor and i is the current passing through the inductor okay let's say this is our equation number 1 now see i have to establish the relationship between current and voltage if i take the di in one side and uh, all the other terms in the right side i will get di equal to 1 by l vl d t now let's say i allow the current to flow through the inductor for the time interval 0 to t therefore i can integrate the both sides within 0 to t interval as l is constant i will take it outside of integration integration of 0 to t v l d t now see if i perform integration here i will get i t minus i not or i 0 equal to 1 by l integration of 0 to t v l d t now look here this i o is the initial current through the inductor and this it is the current through the inductor at any time in instant so i can write the equation of current it equal to 1 by l integration of 0 to t v l d t plus i not see if i know the value of voltage across the inductor i can easily calculate the current through the inductor using this formula let's say this is our equation number 2 now by using equation 1 and 2 i can make some conclusions first one is that our induced voltage or the voltage across the inductor is vl equal to l di of dt see in case of a dc supply the i is constant therefore you will see di by dt that means current change with respect to time will be equal to zero as the current change with respect to time will be equal to zero you will see vl voltage drop across the inductor will be l into zero which will be zero volt now my question is where do we get the voltage across any component equal to zero volt when we have a total short circuit in any element see as the voltage will be equal to zero i can say that our inductor will act like a short path or a short circuit 
for the DC supply and the second conclusion is that our induced voltage VL equal to L DI by DT if a small change in current that means our DI or the change of current will be small if a small change in current occurs within zero time instant within zero time that means change of current will occur within the time dt equal to zero see as dt will be equal to zero here i will get vl equal to l our di will have a finite value because this is a small quantity but our dt as the current is changing instantaneously dt will be equal to zero that means our voltage across the inductor should be equal to infinity that means the theoretical calculation of the voltage across the inductor gives infinite value if a small change in current occurs within zero time interval in practical case this is totally impossible so we assume that the current through the inductor cannot change instantaneously that means within dt equal to zero time interval so when you will be dealing with an inductor you will see our inductor current will increase gradually towards a fixed or constant value okay that's it thank you